Okay. All right. So I'm Brad Skiles. I'm here with uh, Nasser Amadia, and we're actually having a, a prayer time for healing. They've been wanting to have a child for a long time, and um, we're going to pray that God does the miracle. So um, I, <laughs> we already started, and I, I now I, I have the recording going, so you're kind of jumping into this. But I'm going to read for the third time now, <laughs> James chapter 5. This is what we're doing today. Is anyone among you suffering? He should pray. Is anyone cheerful? He should sing praises. Is anyone among you sick? He should call for the elders of the church, and they should pray over him after anointing him with olive oil in the name of the Lord. The prayer of faith will save the sick person, and the Lord will raise him up, and if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another so that you may be healed. The intense prayer of the righteous is very powerful. All right, so, you know, I'm just going to kind of say all of this stuff. There's nothing special about me. There's nothing special about the way in which I might pray. Um, and, and really, there's nothing special about either of you. <laughs> okay, this is not about both of you. It's not about me. It's not about other people who share this passion to pray for you. This is about Jesus. And all that we're doing is following this passage. <clears throat> and we're going to follow it kind of the way that they that it tells us here. And we're going to give Jesus an opportunity to step into your situation and provide healing. So, you know, we like to say that we need to do our part, right? We, we need to work as if it depended on us and pray as if it depended on God. And then the answer is God's will. So you're where you are. I don't even know where you are, but you're in some other city. Yes. And you're being treated and, and watched and examined by doctors. You're doing everything you can do. Yes. And you're also praying. And um, this video <clears throat> that we're recording is just a documenting the fact that we're going to spend the next few minutes praying for you. And then we'll trust God to do whatever he wants to do. And we're going to pray that he opens the womb. If we could say it that way, we're going to pray for the miracle of conception and both, you know, all three of us know that it doesn't matter what the doctors do. This is all up to God. Yes. So it's good yes. that you're doing what you're doing. But in the end, it's really up to God. All right. Yes. So um, Nasser and I have talked about this. I've tried to figure out if what we're going to do here is compatible with your um, culture. We think it is. And I'm looking for something on my phone here because I'm going to take just two or three minutes to play a song. I'm going to let both of you pray with each other. And I'm not interested in recording <laughs> whatever you say, okay? So um, I'm going to pray and kind of think through areas that I need to confess. I'm going to ask both of you to do that. And I'm going to put some background music on if it works this way. And we'll just take a few minutes to get... Kind of like our hearts right. I'm sure you've been doing that already today, but um, we would we're just trying to follow scripture, and we want to deal with any um, sin that God may bring to our mind, and um, and then we'll go through and and do the next step and pray for healing. So let me get this song kind of started here, and uh, just between yourselves, uh, go ahead and um, pray if you want to remove the mic. That would help. And then um, I'll do the same. Thank you. 
All right. So um, it's kind of crazy. It was just the last 24 hours. I had the thought, oh, wait a minute. The Bible says they're supposed to ask for prayer. And then I thought, well, you have. <laughs> so this is the document that one of the last times Nasser and I were messaging, he said, remember us in prayer. And or remember to pray for us or whatever it was. And it related to this topic. And um, obviously it's it's been something that we've encouraged people to pray for. But if I'm just trying to follow the passage, um that that's what you did. And so I think the Holy Spirit has been um kind of stimulating these thoughts and it and it's leading to us today to have this time and uh, this will be viewed by other people and other people will pray, but in accordance kind of with what's outlined here, uh, were you able to obtain some oil? Do you have some kind yes. of oil? Okay. So why don't you yes. do this? Um, do you, you could do Medea first, but just uh, dip your finger in the oil and kind of wipe it across her forehead. And then Medea, if you would do the same, um, this is just a symbol. There, don't go out, anyone watching this, and buy oil and think it's going to heal you. That's not what this is about. This is just a symbol recognizing that uh, we're doing what the Bible is instructing us to do. And we're just wanting to dedicate your lives to Christ by doing this. So go ahead and do that. You do that, I'm going to drink some coffee. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just like that. Okay. Doesn't take any special amount. It's just a symbol. 
All right, thank you. So uh, here's the next step. Um, some people preach incorrectly. Um, for you to be healed, it, it actually, according to this passage, has nothing to do with your faith. Um, you have great faith. We know that. But what this passage is saying is that it's the people who pray for you that have faith. And um, the other thing I've been thinking about in the last month or so is I'm even, I, now I don't want to get too deep here, but I'm even questioning how much our words really get to God. It's the Holy Spirit who prays when we don't know what to pray. And so that passage is really telling us that we have an advocate, not only Christ in the throne room of God, but we have the Holy Spirit who is taking what's in our heart and communicating in the way that it should be. Okay, so I say that because there's nothing special about whatever I'm going to pray. There's nothing special, quite frankly, about my faith. I believe that, that this is really important. I believe that Jesus can touch your body and heal you. And until that happens, um, you're not going to see the miracle of conception, all right? It's an impossible task. And we know something isn't quite right. And you've been doing all that you can to have humans try to help you. But now we're just saying, God, it's in your hands. And so I'm going to pray. And uh, according to the passage, I, I don't think either of you need to pray. So I'm going to pray and that will kind of wrap up our time. And then we'll see what God does next. And I'm going to get a clean next. Yes. All right. So let's pray. Father God, we thank you that you care deeply about Nasser and Medea, their desire to have a child. God, we know that's your will. We know that's um, what you want for us. And we know not everyone has children that want to have children. And we just put this in your hands. We, we're not God. We don't know what it is that you're trying to do and want to do. But we recognize that in your sovereignty, you, on more than one occasion, but it's very recent in my mind that, that you asked, um, that you moved, we'll say it that way, that you moved Nasser to ask for prayer. And then your Holy Spirit percolated that idea. And it's led to this moment. And we read this passage, and it's not like um, this is something super unique and special. This is just our opportunity to say, Lord Jesus, you can heal, and you can do the miracle, and it's all about you. It's, it's not about us. It's not about them, and it's not about their faith, but we do have the faith to believe that you're still doing miracles you're still active, you still you still want to heal, and you're the great creator. And so we know that when there is conception, that you're hard at work knitting a child together and forming the child just the way that you want for the purpose that you want. And all that we want to do today is just, in a sense, document that we recognize that man cannot correct what ultimately rests in your will and your hand. And so we come boldly because we have Christ's blood that sanctified us and enables us to come to you, Heavenly Father, and ask for a miracle. And so as they complete the rest of this week and as they go through whatever scanning and medical stuff that happens, I just pray that you would give them a peace. So like you waking up or being woken up and calming the storm, 
give them a peace in the coming weeks to know that they've done everything they could and we're simply resting in whatever you want to do and what your will may be. And so because you ask us to ask and you ask us to keep asking and you said you're, Jesus, you told us that our heavenly father is a good father. He wants to give us good gifts. And so we ask that you give them this gift and we ask that you give them a child and you put it in their heart that there would be good news in April, not April, August. And so um, if not before, we, we just ask that this would be a special time that we would recognize by August that you have answered our prayers and that you have brought them to this moment where you're now uh, ready to show us that you want to intervene and come into their lives and do whatever's necessary so that they can experience the miracle of conception. And Father, they are so longing and anxious to have a child, but we also know they have 160 some people, 125, whatever the number is. There are people, children they love that they've given their life to. And um, we just ask that you would enable them to have one through their own means. And if that's what you want, we're going to be super excited that we were a part of it and we're able to ask for this to happen. And so the only reason why we're doing this, the only reason why we can pray this is because Jesus uh, died for us and it's his power and authority that we ask for your intervention. And we ask this in the powerful name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. All right. Anything else we should say? Yeah. Uh, well, we are very excited. And uh, <laughs> we are very thankful that uh, we got this opportunity. Uh, uh, I was thinking about this, uh, but it couldn't happen. I couldn't share. And uh, I wanted to invite our pastor as well, but we had a short time. So I couldn't uh, uh, have fellowship with him. But then yeah. suddenly when you asked this, I, I, I was real glad and, uh, <laughs> that uh, God, God can use his people. And uh, I think God has a plan that he will use you for this purpose and God put this in your heart. So you shared it and uh, this could happen. So God has given us the opportunity. Uh, so we can pray, we can ask for the forgiveness of our sins and we can come to God. So, so that, that all our desire and uh, if anything wrong we did, so we can ask for the forgiveness from God and uh, symbolizing with oil I think it was also an awesome thing so uh, which was we can say a new thing uh, for us as well uh, applying to ourselves on ourselves so it was really amazing and we are very thankful for this uh, uh, opportunity and uh, thank you so much and uh, we are very thankful to God as well uh, We'll put right. this in your heart. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. It's all about God. Okay. So you guys yeah. have a great uh, evening. It is uh, 830 yeah. my time. That means it's uh, 630 in the evening your time. You have some family there uh, as well. 530. It's 530. Oh, 530. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. So love you guys. Um, love God you bless. Too. Yeah. Good. God bless you. Bye. Bye. Yep.